Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be doing something that I probably haven't done for a pretty long time on my channel which is af actually giving you guys a good tip. Now recently I was doing some math when it comes to the cartel market and some conversions uh, between cartel market coins and credits and I actually came upon something very interesting which is something that I'm going to be highlighting in this video and that is basically why you should never ever actually pay up the straight up 4,000 or 5,000 whatever cartel coins for a hypercrate. Now, um, a lot of people buy hyper crates and try to sell them on the GTN. That is why if you go check the GTN right now, you will never see a shortage of the newest hyper crates. For example, go on the GTN right now, check the Eternal Command Packs, which were released a good three weeks to a month ago. You'll still see a ton of them up on the GTN going for a relatively low price. Nowadays, 20-ish million for a hyper crate is not bad at all. Uh, if you go check for some of the later ones, you'll see that they bump up to like 40, 50 million credits in price but the latest one is still relatively cheap. And for those people who are out there selling those packs uh, for that low of a price, they are just losing out when it comes to cartel coin conversion to credit conversions. And I'll show you guys that in this video. Also, I am on the Harbinger server, which I often deemed as the cheapest server because things used to go for extremely low prices. But lately I was checking out the prices on other servers and I was finding that there are servers out there that are now offering items for much cheaper than the Harbinger is. Uh, lately I was on the Ebon Hawk where Hypercrates actually dropped below 20 million credits and um, the Red Eclipse as well was offering Hypercrates for a good 4 to 5 million credits cheaper than what you could buy them on for the Harbinger. So Hypercrates are actually going for much cheaper than this. I'm just looking at this on the Harbinger server but other servers are offering it for much much better prices. But nonetheless the bottom line is no one should be out there buying hypercrates and putting them up on the GTN for this low of a price. Now I love the fact that hypercrates are cheap, but those people who are actually doing it, they're losing out on cartel coin to credit conversions. So I'll explain to you why. I said in a previous video that the best way to convert your cartel coins to credits were to buy command boost. Now these things used to sell for like two to three million credits that was extremely profitable nowadays they've dropped to around the 1.5 to 2 million credit range you can usually buy a cxp boost for that price uh, they have not dropped below that i will show you some footage in this video which shows that they are selling at that price uh, very very easily like you could easily sell a ton of them in a day uh, they sell quickly and usually it's like one or two people that buy up a ton of them because they're out there grinding cxp so for the purposes of this video, I'll just assume that a CXP boost can sell for around 1.6 million credits on average. I'll just say that, but normally it's actually higher. I've been selling a ton of them for 1.8 million and um, hell, maybe you can even sell them for 2 million on a good day. Let's say if you're one of the only people selling them on the GTN at that time. But let's just average it out to 1.6 million credits. Now, if you sell CXP boost for 1.6 million credits, you would need to sell 15 of them to make 24 million credits around that area. Um, once again, I'm being very tentative with the numbers because obviously the GTN is always changing, but these are the numbers that you will generally see no matter how much it fluctuates. But let's just say you need to sell 15 of them and then you can buy a hypercrate off the GTN. Well, 15 CXP boosts, if you buy them from the cartel market, only cost you 2,400 cartel coins. So ideally, let, let's say right now you wanted to buy a Hypercrate, the Eternal Command Packs on the Cartel Market would set you back 5,800 Cartel Coins. But if you wanted to be smart, you could buy up CXP boosts for only 2,400 Cartel Coins, sell those CXP boosts on the GTN, and make enough credits to just buy a Hypercrate off the GTN. Not only are you paying less than half price, but... Um, Let's say, for example, you actually had 5,400 cartel coins. Well, then you can actually sell enough CXP boost to buy you two hypercrates. You'd be getting double your money's worth. And so that's basically why it's much better to look at the cartel market and find better conversion rates for cartel coins to credits. Because if you have your monthly stipend, if you saved up, or if conversely you're paying your actual money for uh, hypercrates, then you're going to want to make sure that you're making the best use of your cartel coins. And just buying these things straight up from the cartel market is definitely not making the best use of your cartel coins, especially when command boosts are selling this high. Now, I would definitely caution you guys against uh, using this video as kind of a universal standard for converting cartel coins to credits. The reason being, the market is always fluctuating, right? Maybe in a month or two months, CXP boosts are selling for way lower than they are now. So what I would suggest for you guys, if you are seeing different prices on your servers, is to just see what, what's the best conversion of cartel coins to credits. So check the cartel market, see some of the items that are going on there. You know, you can probably determine which items are popular at the time and then see what those things are selling for on the GTN. Because 
I would guarantee this that oftentimes there is a better way to convert your cartel coins to credits and, and then just buy hypercrates off the GTN rather than actually buying a hypercrate straight up off the cartel market. You are most likely going to lose out on cartel coins. As I just showed you guys, if you had enough cartel coins for a hypercrate, you could actually get two hypercrates using this method rather than just straight up buying a hypercrate from the cartel market kind of a few limitations to keep in mind. The first limitation is this obviously doesn't work out for those people that want to buy a Hypercrate right when it is just released because oftentimes when a Hypercrate has just been introduced to the cartel market and into the game, they sell for a lot higher on the GTN. I'm looking at the price of Eternal Command Packs a good three weeks to a month after it has been released. However, this price of 20-ish million credits for a Hypercrate, that has been there for a good two weeks now. So I would say that right when a Hypercrate is introduced into the cartel market, it, uh, wait about one or two weeks before you will see the price go down. Oftentimes, I have seen every single hypercrate drop to at least 20 to 23 million credits. They almost always do, and then you can buy it up. Also, one thing to keep in mind is the price of these hypercrates is always fluctuating on the cartel market. Uh, right when a hypercrate is just released, it costs like 4,600 cartel coins. Then, on some arbitrary date, Bioware will increase that price to like 5,000 something cartel coins. And then, before Bioware removes that, they will um, put it on blowout sale for 55% off. So, it'll only cost you 3,500 cartel coins. So, it's always changing, it's always fluctuating. And especially like during times of blowout sale, that's a good time to check the price of these things on the GTN. They often drop a lot lower. So if you want to buy a Hypercrate right when it is just released, you want to be the first one with these rare items, then I guess you would have to actually spend your cartel coins to just straight up buy it off the cartel market. However, if you're willing to be patient, you will get more bang for your buck. As I just showed you, you can get like double the packs if you want to open them, uh, if you just waited a little bit of time and snatched up some good deals on the GTN. Right now, actually, I think three of the hyper crates that are available actually cost 7,000 cartel coins, which is probably why you won't see good deals for them on the GTN. But let's say you wanted one. I would just say be patient, wait for it to go on blowout sale, and when it does, you will see the price of these hyper crates drop extremely low on the GTN, and then you can either use the method I just outlined in this video, where you pay for 2,400 cartel coins, and then you sell command boost and just buy a hyper crate, or you could, um, actually just buy it straight up off the cartel market. It's going to be pretty cheap. It's only going to cost you 3,500 cartel coins for a Hypercrate. Another tip for you guys who are willing to spend some time in the game is all of the subscribers have a referral link. And if people use that referral link, you get 600 cartel coins only if that person that used a referral link is number one, a subscriber, and has never used a referral link before, ever. So oftentimes you will see people in the game offering like 3 million credits, 4 million credits for people to use their link. The reason being, every time a person uses their link, you get 600 cartel coins, and then you can use those cartel coins to buy stuff off the cartel market and sell that stuff off the GTN and make a huge profit. So that's another thing you might want to look into uh, doing because once, as I said, it can be very, very profitable. Anyways, that kind of concludes the video. I was just doing some random math and I just thought, hey, you know what, make a video about this because um, there are still people out there who are buying hyper crates off the GTN, off the cartel market and thus losing cartel coins because it's really not the best conversion right now at all. So I would definitely caution any of my subscribers who watch my videos uh, for doing this because you don't want to do this. You're losing out on tons of credits. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.